Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings on you. Welcome to the Gems from the Quran. Alhamdulillah, today we will start with a new chapter and tafsir explanation of the chapter. And we are talking about the chapter of An Nasr, the chapter of the divine support or the victory. So, this is Madani Surah. This chapter was revealed after the migration of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And ulama classified it as Madani Surah. And Allah Almighty in this chapter is giving lots of signs to all of us. Starting from the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So Prophet Muhammad used to live with a community that from Muhajireen and An Ansar, the, you know, those who migrated with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the Ansar, the supporters, and he used to live with them and he established a Muslim country in Medina. And at the last age of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, this chapter was revealed and Allah Almighty said after Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful Allah Almighty said إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ if you translate the meaning of this verse which means when the victory of Allah Almighty has come and conquest it means the victory is coming and there is conquest right but in this verse there is hidden meaning that only prophet muhammad peace be upon him and some of the other companion understood it so one of the incident that umar one of the companion he used to go and sit with other companion in a gathering and he used to take with him Abdullah ibn Abbas, or he was known as Ibn Abbas. At that time, Ibn Abbas was a young boy. And people used to sit in a place. There used to be those who witnessed the Battle of Badr. Means they are old people, but they are very, you know, known people and old and uh, in a highest uh, or in a high level people. They used to sit with Prophet Muhammad, they used to you know, discuss with him. And Ibn Khattab, he is having this young boy with him to go and sit with this gathering. So some other people, they start thinking that, okay, why he is coming, Abdullah ibn Abbas, into this gathering, while we are all big and we have children with the same age. So why he is coming and sitting with us, but we cannot bring our children? So they asked Umar, that why he is sitting and what is the reason that you are bringing him so later on so he said I will let you know and then next time he brought Abdullah bin Abbas with him and he entered and he sat with him and he said to everyone what you say about إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ how you explain إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ which means when the victory of Allah Almighty comes and the con uh, conquest what it means and what this the whole chapter means. So they said, well, the victory is coming and Allah is asking us to glorify him and ask Allah's forgiveness and maghfirah and tasbih and all these things. So what you say, they said the same thing. And then he asked him what you said and he said something else. And then he asked some people, they said, we don't know, Allahu A'lam. And then he asked Abdullah ibn Abbas. He said, what you say about this verse? You know what he said? He said, it means that the demise or the death of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is very near. It means that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, will die soon. So can you understand the hidden meaning that none of them can understand except Prophet Muhammad and some of the companion only, those who Allah gave them hikmah, those Allah gave them the wisdom. Because this is a clear chapter or clear verse from Allah that Prophet Muhammad will die very soon and he will leave the world. So this was 
the brief idea about this chapter and inshallah we will just have a small break and then we will continue after the break so stay with us Dear viewers, welcome back. So, this was the hidden meaning behind when Allah Almighty says, إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ When the victory of Allah Almighty comes and the conquest. Not only that, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he knew what Allah meant by this ayah. So he started telling his close family members that he will die. So he went to Fatima, radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her. He went to Fatima and he said, my daughter, this ayah came to me and it means that I will die very soon. So Fatima, as a daughter, as a very close daughter to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, she started crying and she started crying and anyone will cry by knowing that you know, her father or someone's father will die. Everyone will cry. So she started crying. And then Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he went to her and he said something in her ear. So she t starts smiling. So later on, some people ask that, you know, Prophet Muhammad told you something and you start crying. And then later on, he said something in your ears and you start laughing. So Fatima radiallahu anha, what she said, she said, Prophet Muhammad came to me and told me that he will die because Allah Almighty sent down the verse which says, إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ Means the Prophet will die very soon. So I start crying. Then Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came later on or after some time and said, don't worry my daughter, you will be the first person who will die after me and we will meet in the paradise. So she starts smiling that yes, I will die after my father and we both will be in Jannah and we will both, we will be in the paradise. So this is the meaning of إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ which literally means the victory of Allah Almighty will come and the conquest but the hidden meaning is that the demise of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is very near. And then Allah Almighty continued and he said وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا and you will see people entering into the religion of Allah in a big number, Ma a massive number, massive number of, of uh, people, a large number of people will enter the deen of Allah, the religion of Allah. This is also something good. We as Muslim, when we see that people from East and people from West and people from Africa and people from uh, South uh, Asia and this and that, they are accepting Islam. This is by the will of, uh, will of Allah Almighty. And this also happened at the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he died. And then the rulers that, that took the Khilafah at that time, they start spreading Islam. So the people used to come to the Islam. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, telling the people that they, he will die very soon and after that you will see that you will see people entering to the fold of Islam in a big number, in a large number. So what is required from all of us? Allah Almighty said in the last verse from this chapter Always praise Allah Almighty. Always glorify Allah Almighty. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ Then exalt Him with praise of your Lord. Always praise Allah Almighty. Always glorify Allah Almighty. وَاسْتَغْفِرْهُ And seek His forgiveness. إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا Indeed, He is ever the most forgiven. So what we understand from the last verse that whenever you see something good, whenever you see something happy that will make you feel happy, always, always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and glorify Him by saying, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, praise Him and always make istighfar, always repent to Allah Almighty from your own sins. We all human beings, we commit sins, so it is required, highly required that we all always and always and every day and every single moment, repent to Allah Almighty. And then Allah Almighty concluded his verse by saying, Indeed, he is the most forgiven. 
He is the one who repent. And he is the one who accept the, the, the one who is repenting to Allah Almighty. So I ask Allah Almighty that we see these people entering the, to, to the fold of Islam and we will be happy. So we will praise and glorify Allah Almighty and ask for our forgiveness for our, of our sins. And Allah Almighty, he is the most forgiven. I ask Allah Almighty to accept from all of us. By that, alhamdulillah, we finish this chapter, chapter of An-Nasr, the victory. And inshallah ta'ala with the next episode, with the new surah, with the new chapter. So stay tuned, take care of yourself. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.